Vijaya Dashami has many, many dimensions. It's not just victory over evil. It is not just victory. It's actually attaining a state. It's at actually attaining a dimension. Because before the Vijaya Dashami, there are Navaratris, nine days where goddess is worshipped in multiple levels and layers. Fundamentally, the beginning. See, to understand the Navaratris, we should also understand Shiva. Shiva is supreme consciousness, vast, unfathomable. Shiva is not the form, the dimension which is unfathomable, unknowable, supreme consciousness. Shakti has many dimensions. Here, in during Navaratris, we acknowledge, worship, connect and activate various aspects of Shakti, energy, power inside us. In uh, Navaratris, we talk about nine aspects of Shakti. Pradhamam Shaila Putridi, Dudiyam Brahmacharini, Tridiyam Chandrakhandedi, Kushmandedi Chaturdagam, Panjamam Skandamadedi, Shastam Katyayanidija, Saptamam Kalaratridi, Maha Gauridi Chastamam, Navamam Siddhida Prokta, Navadurga Prakirtida. In nine forms, Durga is activated inside us. These are the Shaktis inherent within our system. So through each day, in a concentrated way, we are activating the nine aspects of Shakti within us. And that gives us stability, strength and to continue with our activity without obstacles the whole year or year ahead. So during Navaratris, we are preparing ourselves to be active and alive. Then comes Vijaya Dashami, where we are ready to face the world. We are ready to be expanded. We are ready for the larger. That point in time, Sai Baba left his physical body. In other words, he expanded himself on that day. So on Vijaya Dashami day, Sai Baba expanded beyond his physical dimension. He became everything, everywhere. He started being everywhere, which we saw. Earlier, he was in Shirdi in the location called Dwarakamani, a small dilapidated mosque. That's where he lived. Later, the entire world became Dwarakamani. Baba expanded himself. His consciousness reached every corner of earth, which we see, which we know. So Vijaya Dashami has a particular connotation here. It's a point where you attain victory over limitation. No limitation anymore. The whole limited is finished. The unlimited happened. Baba became unlimited even though he was unlimited earlier. Now, in an established way, he reached the entire world. The cause became an action or, or uh, visible or tangible in this world. The cause, which he was already, became expanded and became more tangible in the world. So Vijaya Dashami is victory over evil, which is already in us. What are the evil? Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, anger, hatred, jealousy, revenge, pride, uh, ego, all sorts of evils which makes us restricted, limited. These are the evil or the negativities which we have to counter to become complete and full consciousness. All these evil which we talk about limits us while we remain unlimited. Vijaya Dashami was a proclamation of, of Baba that I am unlimited and connect to me as unlimited. I was sitting in Dwarakamai, I am sitting in the Dwarakamai called world, the universe. So everywhere he happened, everywhere he is felt now and visible now. So in some way he is responding through multiple uh, platforms right now. So Vijaya Dashmi has a very, very deep meaning. It is not just victory of over evil, it is about victory over oneself, our limitations, our uh, limited existence and whatever that makes us feel limited, just like anger, hatred, jealousy, revenge and stuff, which makes us unit. This also means victory over ignorance. The ignorance is that I am the body. I am this personality, I am this identification, whatever we are identifying with. From there to I am everything, 
all that you see around is me. I am displayed through multiple forms, multiple ways, multiple dimensions. This is the truth. Actually, we are multiple dimensions. And that's, that becomes predominant, that became pronounced. And Vijaya Dashami is a reminder. Baba is a reminder that we are multidimensional. There is a great sig significance here. You can dig deeper and you will know more and more about it. Victory over evil, which are the basic constitutions which restrict us within us. And uh, victory over ignorance, where we identify ourselves and we believe that we are this form. We are this identification and we become universal. So all these are annihilated and the larger dimension takes shape, takes birth. That's the significance of Vijayadashami.